Hello, hello, familia. Oh my God, I'm so excited today. My name is Magdalene Janet. If you are new, welcome to the fam. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always here. Having a good time and come visit me on TikTok and Instagram because I'm there daily. And of course, welcome back to my own so goodies. Familia, you guys, I think this video I was meant to do because Hot Cheetos and Alamar Cosmetic collaborated. Hot Cheetos. You know, I went to the gas station and I got some Hot Cheetos. Of course, the original. I love me some Funyun Hot Cheetos, Flaming Hot. Ruffles is the jam too. Lastly, Fritos. <laughs> Let's put it back in the box. I mean in the back. We are definitely gonna be snacking today because this is my jam. Here, let's have one. It is nine in the morning, 9.46, but it's okay. I went to the gym today. Mm -mm -mm. I can't start because then I won't stop. I bought the entire set. It was $88. If you're not familiar, Alamar Cosmetics is a woman Latina owned brand. It's not a huge, huge brand. It's available online. And you guys know I have to support. They first started off with this eyeshadow quad feline fine. Okay. I typically don't buy limited edition, but you guys know we have to, we have to do it. Ooh, this is how the palette looks. It has, it's a quad, so four shades. Let's see what we're gonna do. I'm not sure what we could do with this. Let's see. Because it's feline-esque, you guys know we're gonna do a wing. I'm gonna get some tape. Let's tape this sucker like right here. So I'm gonna add a little bit of concealer. Let's prime the lid first. I'm so excited, you guys. I'm all discombobulated. Discombobulated. I'm like, wait, what's happening? No lie, those Cheetos, the two I just ate. Oh my God, I want more. I want more. Let me calm down. Oh wow, this looks, why does, I thought this was cream. This is straight up orange. I want to get this black shade. Ooh, yeah. Okay, we're going to start off right here. Oh, then this is pigmented. Yeah. I want to make it super thin here. This is so dark. I love it. And it has like a sheen. Do you see that? Now I want to blend it out, like buff it out with this clean brush to give us a nice smoked out effect. Okay. I wanna play with this orange a little bit, but not too much, cause I don't know how orange it's going to be. Maybe add it like right here. Well, it's a pretty orange. It's not too, it's like straight up hot cheeto orange. I like it. I'm gonna have to get another palette. I don't like to do this, but I'm gonna get this Dominique Cosmetics palette in the shade Compassion. Bit of a neutral, and then I'm gonna just start blending the edges like this. When I saw this collection, I was like, I have to review it for you. It's just so fun. And it is still available if you wanna pick it up on Alamar Cosmetics site. But I'm just like, girl, a little Halloween vibes, you know? Ideas are coming. They're coming, they're coming. I'm gonna clean that up. I feel like the orange went too far. Clean this. You know I don't like to do like super harsh cut creases. I like to just do like a soft little cleanup, something like this. I'll go back in with the orange just to kind of grab, put it really concentrated like on that crease. I'm gonna get the nude palette again. Just get any nude you have. I'm using Dominique Cosmetics in the shade Compassion. And I'm just gonna tap it here. Oh, this shade's too dark, hold on. I need something like this, like a white. I'm gonna mix it in here. I'm just gonna tap that. Sorry, I'm using another palette. You can just grab like any neutral you have because you see, it's just gonna soften up the look and it makes it wearable. I'm not trying to not have like a wearable look today because your girl's gonna be out and about. Maybe, I don't know, but still, okay. And now I wanna just go back here. The palette alone retails for $24. It comes with an eyeliner. The Precisely, oh look, Precisely Liquid Eyeliner. Okay, this one retails for $16. Let's shake it up, let's shake it up, let's shake it up. See the Precisely? Ooh, ooh. This is really, really dark. You see how little the point is? This looks like it's a pen. Is it a pen? It looks like a pen. Oh yeah, it's so dark. Okay, so I'm gonna keep it super close to what we already created. You can always tell how good an eyeliner is, how it applies in your inner corner. So let's see. What I mean by that is how thin it remains. You see how thin it is? That's when you know it's a good one. I wanna really get this inner corner. 
Okay. If your eyes constantly cry or they're like sensitive and they water, if you wear an eyeliner and you just tap it over with a powder, like an eyeshadow, it will last longer because it pretty much sets it down. So let's just do that. Oh, I like this. This is so pigmented. Okay, now let's see. Oh, it's straight. So now we have, wow. I feel like we do have a cat eye, huh? Straight cat eye. I think I need a smaller brush. I want some more of the, of the orange, but I need to concentrate it right here. And then you know what? I want to get some of the red. So the red, let's add a little here. Just like a real hot Cheeto moment, like at the end. And then I'm going to get the big brush I was using with the yellow. I mean, orange, you know, oh, that is hot Cheeto. I want to keep the look simple, but cute and like really show off all of these shades. Look, I'm losing all my brushes. I'm going to get the brush I used, the nude shade. And we're just going to blend any of the edges out. I'm kind of tempted, you guys, to just throw this on top. Dang, okay. Let's add it here. I like these shadows. I just don't like that they're glitter. You know, I don't like glitter. I'm not a big glitter fan. But the glitter is glittering. Look, you see that? Okay, I'm liking this. It's cute. I feel like I need to blend a little more though. I just want more of the orange gradient with the red. Okay, let me finish up this eye in three, two, one. We're done and I added some foundation. I'm mixing these two together to give like a light, a little light coverage. Next up is the Heat Stroke Dual Strobe Stick. This one retails for $25. This packaging, look at it. The packaging was getting me. So we got like a blush. It's like an orange blush. I love an orange blush and then a little bit of a strobe moment. Strobe. Not bad. I don't really like going directly, but it's okay. Let's do it today. Ooh, did I put too much? I let my foundation dry down to a little bit just so that this doesn't glide. I like this shade. It's very pretty. Let me add some on the brush like this. Oh yeah, we get more pigment this way. This is pretty. You guys, this blush is beautiful super pigmented too i kind of like it with the brush like this oh that's smooth you see that oh pretty okay the strobe side typically a strobe side gives you highlight kind of like a natural highlight you can put this under foundation over foundation depending on the formula you can put it over powder but i'm gonna add it here this is very creamy but not too creamy where it's super slippy and slidey wow why did i do that i just said i just placed it down ah, without the cap on okay so this i want to add the strobe here just to add a little bit of the highlight you guys i'm not a big highlight girl but i'll put it today and this typically it really warms up when your makeup is warmed up maybe within two or three hours you see that natural glow going you can put some here too like on the cheeks oh oh Hot Cheeto Golden Goddess. That's the vibe. I'm I'm kind of, not kind of, I'm really feeling this stick. Like it is perfect. I haven't tried, I'm trying to think, have I tried a, a duo stick like this? I'm sure I have, but I don't know. Something about this is just giving me super creamy, super easy to use vibes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh my God. I'm so excited. So I'm going to finish up the face because I do need to add some concealer and then I'll be back. Familia, why is this glow coming through though? I put powders. Wait, I didn't set yet. I like put powders and everything. So hold on. By the way, talking about setting, got a new little fan. Just like put that there. And you know what I want to do is get this and kind of go over here. I don't know if this is a good idea, but let's try. Yeah, it's cute. It's coming. Yeah, it's not pulling texture or anything up. Okay. Then you know what I did too? Where is it? I also got my blush brush and got the orange kind of like here in the tip. And then just add it a little bit. We're just going to be real flaming hot Cheeto today because <laughs> why not? And then I'm going to get my powder puff and kind of just set. And ooh. Ooh, ooh. Now, last 
but not least, the lip products. We have a Saint Cheese Met Plumping Lip Liner and a Saint Cheese Met Plumping Lip Blush. Ooh, let's see. The lip liner. The lip liner retails for $16. You know, everything always falls. Oh, this is so thin. Okay, let's see. Oh, wow, that's pigmented. Okay. Oh, wait, shoot, it broke. Hold on. I did. I went up too high. My bad. That always happens when you're working with something super thin, so beware. All right, let's see. Very creamy. Very pigmented, too. Just want to be careful not to bring it up too high. Oh, I like this. This is nice. I love how everything that's red, it's literally the perfect hot Cheeto red. You guys, this is a plumping lip liner. I'm like, what is that feeling? It's like I'm eating hot Cheetos, but it's the lip liner. I got hot Cheeto lips. Let's have another one. Mmm. Mm. Have you noticed that not all hot Cheeto bags are the same? Some are really good, some are not. Some are like stale, some are too spicy, some are just perfect. This bag is perfection. And you typically could tell by the color. I'm like, I'll look in the bag and see what the coloring is. It has to look like this. Because else, it's gonna be a bad bag. Also, the ones who carry the best bags are gas stations, hands down. Not grocery stores, not Target, not Walmart. Girl, okay. Ooh, my lips. Say cheese, man. Is this a plumping tambien? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Fill this in more. My lips, <laughs> they're feeling spicy. Spicy. Oh, yeah. I'm scared how my lips are gonna feel, though. <laughs> Girl, yeah, man, chile. Whew. Okay, you guys, we need to talk about this collection. Oh, my God. You guys, do you know how many Cheetos have been consumed today? And it's, oh, it's almost 12, so it's almost lunch. Oh, this bag is so good. My lips, look. It's, oh my God, it's near. I'm eating too many chips. Okay, I need to stop and finish the video. Hold on, I need to fix this. Oh, well, we're done. Cause I got Cheeto fingers. I just took my thumbnail picture. It was so funny, I was eating Cheetos. Okay, fam, do I like this collection? Yes, I think it is by far the cutest flaming hot collection I've seen. The things I like the most were actually these products. The palette, let's talk about the palette first. It's nice, it's cute. I like the colors, I think they're beautiful, but they all have glitter. The only one that doesn't have, it's this one. Guess so now what? I love it, it's matte, it's pigmented. Alamar Cosmetics does great eyeshadows. I just don't like glitter for my personal preference, but did these shades work well? Were they pigmented? Yes. I actually didn't get a lot of fallout. I thought I was gonna get a lot more than what I did. So that's always a good thing. I wish there were more of a metallic than like not shimmers glitters because they all have like a bunch of glitter fallout and you can just see the glitter particles i personally don't like glitter anywhere near my eyes so the palette is cute i think i'll definitely keep it as like a collectible i think this entire collection is so freaking cute this is one of my favorite things i just love the pigments i love the color i love everything about it i think it lays on the skin well on top of foundation and over powder so that's always a good thing because it's super creamy that creaminess really sits on the skin well the eyeliner is great it is super pigmented i've washed my hands 36 times and i swear it's still on i really like it it's super super pigmented and black so i like it easy to use it doesn't run too much but keep in mind most eyeliners start running after a few uses like if you hold it on, it will run. That happens all the time with eyeliners and this seems like a pen eyeliner. It's a fine tip. I just love it. I have a feeling it's gonna last all day long. The lip products literally make your lips feel like you're eating hot Cheetos. So beware, it was a little startling at first. I was like, wait, what is happening? But it makes sense, it's cute. It's like such a vibe, you know? The lip products feel like you're eating hot Cheetos because you get that plumping effect. This was one of the funnest videos I've done, especially you guys know my love for hot Cheetos. I don't eat them as much as I want to because they give me major major heartburn but today it was my excuse and I bought three other bags why because I'm gonna eat it anyway like not gonna have it sitting there and go to waste look at me still eating these I'm gonna do this 
let me know. Do you plan on getting that? Have you seen it around? If so, if not, I mean, I'll link it down below for you guys to check it out. I think it's super, super cute. And I like that they are selling these individually. You don't have to get the entire bundle. You can get it all individually. Also, like this is so cute for like a, you know, to put in your vanity and just kind of be there like a collectible. But yeah, this is it. I had so much fun. I love the look. I think everything turned out really, really well. Everything blended well. I will see you later, Familia. I may do a wear test, like a quick wear test, probably at around five o'clock so you guys can see in golden hour. And yeah, I love you guys. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the button right there. I'll see you next one. Bye.